Hi there. This is Margaret and welcome to my YouTube channel Grammar Buzz Learning Made Easy. Hey, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we will try to learn the basics of letter writing and we will be concentrating on informal or friendly letter. But before we move on to the main part of the lesson, you know what? Let us quickly know about the lesson objectives. Well, the lesson objectives for the day aims at helping us to know what is letter writing, know what are the different patterns of letter writing, and also know how to write a friendly letter. So without wasting any further time, let's get going. Well, let's begin with my favorite question and that is what is a letter? What about it? Well, what is a letter? Well, to put it simply, a letter is a written message that can be handwritten or printed on paper. It is usually sent to the recipient via mail or post in an envelope. Well, let me explain this a little further. Supposing a person wants to send a message to another person, then he will write the message on a piece of paper. This piece of paper is called a letter. Next. He will put the letter in an envelope with the address of the receiver written on top of it. Then he will deliver the letter to a post office or to a post box and the post office will deliver the same letter to the receiver. So we know that the primary function of a letter is communication in written form. And this is why we write letters to communicate in written forms. Hey, here comes our did you know? Well, did you know that letters can be divided into two types? Yes, letters can be divided into two types. Formal letter and informal or friendly letter. So what is a formal letter? Well, a formal letter is written for official purposes to authorities, dignitaries, colleagues, seniors, etc. and not to personal contacts like friends or family members. So remember, formal letter is written for business purposes. It is written in simple language that is easy to read and understand. However, Informal letter or friendly letter is written for personal communication to family members or friends or acquaintances and it is written in a casual tone or language. Well, in this video we will try to understand how to write an informal letter. So we'll try to know the format of an informal letter. So let's get going. So, it's time for us to know the format of writing an informal letter. Well, we start with the sender's address or the letter writer's address absolutely at the top. Then, we leave a line and then we write the date. After writing the date, we leave another blank line and write the salutation followed by a comma. Well, you might ask, what is a salutation? To put it simply, a salutation is a way of addressing the person to whom we are writing the letter. Or in other words, it can be called the courteous greeting. So we usually write the salutation with dear. After writing the salutation, we again leave a blank line followed by the body of the letter. Now the body of the letter is written in paragraphs. 
where the first paragraph is the introduction the second paragraph is the main content of the letter and the third paragraph is the concluding paragraph after the body of the letter we again leave a blank line and then we write the subscription followed by a comma so what is a subscription now well it is simply a courteous leave taking or conclusion after the subscription we again leave a blank line and you give your signature which is usually a first name as this is an informal letter note in this format of letter writing everything is left aligned now let us take a look at another format of letter writing in the informal letter now this is another format of writing the same letter in this format everything is the same other than the sender's address or the sender's detail the date the subscription and the signature if you note the sender's detail and the date they are right aligned and then we have the salutation followed by the comma we leave a blank line followed by the body of the letter and again we leave a blank line but note the subscription in this case again comes to the right hand side of the letter followed by a comma and then we leave a blank line and we put a signature which is the first name only as it is an informal letter so remember the difference between the two format is in the first format we write everything on the left hand side so it is left aligned but in the second format we have the sender's detail the date the subscription and the signature on the right hand side instead of the left alignment now let us look at a few salutations the form of salutation will depend upon the relation in which you stand to the person to whom you are writing to begin with for parents and family members or cousins we usually use dear or my dear dear father or my dear mother dear danny or my dear danny for brothers sisters and cousins we use dear with the name of the person or my dear with the name of the person we are writing the letter to for relatives we use dear uncle dear aunt followed by their name or simply dear uncle or dear aunt for acquaintances we use dear mr or dear mrs followed by their last name now we already know about the salutations but what about the subscriptions let us take a look well remember a letter must not end abruptly simply with the writer's name this would look rude so certain forms of polite leave are taken and it is needed so some of the common subscriptions are as follows for parents and family members or cousins we use your affectionate or your loving son or your loving daughter or your loving brother or your loving sister or your lovingly or your affectionately but remember with yours lovingly or yours affectionately we cannot use the relation name we cannot write yours affectionately brother or yours affectionately sister for friends we can use your lovingly or loving friend for acquaintances we can use yours faithfully or yours sincerely note the subscription must be written below the last word of the letter 
and to the right side of the page for the traditional method. Placing the subscription on the left side is a growing tendency of modern method of letter writing in the left aligned letter format. Remember, the first word of the subscription should always begin with the capital letter. Now, let us take a look at a sample letter using both the formats. And our question is, write a letter to your friend to congratulate him on his success. So following the first format, let us take a look at this letter sample. Now let us see how we would write an informal letter following the guidelines that we have learnt. To begin with the sender's address. 33 4th Avenue, 5th Cross Road, Mumbai, 134. This is the sender's address. Then, we leave a blank line followed by the date 19th January 2021. After the date, we leave another blank line and then we write a salutation which in this case is Dear Romy followed by a comma. Note, after the salutation, we leave another line and start writing the body of the letter or the main content of the letter. How are you? Hope you are in the pink of health. How are your family members? Hope they are doing well. I am also fine. I took some time to write this letter as I was busy with my class. This is our introductory paragraph. I heard the news of you holding the first rank in class. I really feel happy and proud of you. I know you have really worked hard for this achievement and I really would like to congratulate you for this success. Well, this is our second paragraph. I am hoping that you achieve all the success in future too. Keep up the good work. I will try to meet you in person and celebrate your success as soon as possible. How is Uncle Billy and Aunt Julie? Give my regards to them. Looking forward to meeting you soon. Till then, take care. This is the concluding paragraph. After the concluding paragraph, we leave a blank line and then we give our signature or subscription that is your loving friend followed by a comma and then your sign or your name leaving a line definitely and in this case your name is Bob and remember it's your first name because it is an informal letter. Note that we have written the letter in the left hand alignment pattern. Now let us again read the same letter but following the second format. Well. We start with the sender's address. In this case, it is written on the right hand side. That is 33 4th Avenue, 5th Cross Road, Mumbai 134. Then we leave a blank line followed by the date 19th January 2021 on the right hand side as well. After the date, we leave another line and then write a salutation which in this case is Dear Romy followed by a comma. Note, we write this on the left hand side. After the salutation, we leave another line and start writing the body or the main content of the letter. How are you? Hope you are in the pink of health. How are your family members? Hope they are doing well. I am also fine. I took some time to write this letter 
as I was busy with my class. This is the introductory paragraph. I heard the news of you holding first rank in class. I really feel happy and proud of you. I know you have really worked hard for this achievement and I really would like to congratulate you on this success. This is our second paragraph. I am hoping that you achieve all the success in future too. Keep up the good work. I will try to meet you in person and celebrate your success as soon as possible. How is Uncle Billy and Aunt Julie? Give my regards to them. Looking forward to meeting you soon. Till then, take care. This is the concluding paragraph. After the concluding paragraph, we leave a blank line and write the subscription which in this case is your loving friend followed by a comma and we write this on the right hand side. After that we leave another blank line and then give the name of the person writing the letter. Remember again on the right hand side. We have written the first name only which is Bob in this case because it is an informal letter. Note that we have written the letter in the left hand alignment pattern other than the sender's address, date, subscription and signature which are on the right hand side of the letter. Now that we know how to write a friendly letter, we will also have to send this letter to the receiver. And how do we do that? Well, for that, we have to know how to write on an envelope. So, let's get started. To begin with, we write the sender's address. That is your address at the bottom left hand side of the envelope. That is from Bob Marley, 33 4th Avenue, 5th Cross Road, Mumbai, 400. 134 Maharashtra. The next important part is the receiver's address. We usually write this in the middle of the envelope and that is to Romy Bos, 12 by A Collins Street, Kolkata 700014 West Bengal. And you know what? Yes, you need the stamp. So, the next step is to put the stamp and that comes on the top right hand side of the envelope and your letter is ready to be posted. So what do we have here? Well it's time for our remember and what do we need to remember? Well. All we need to remember is the two formats of informal letter that is the right hand alignment and the left hand alignment and also that informal letters are written to family members, friends and acquaintances. Isn't that simple? I think it is. Okay and we have already neared a practice time. So you know already practice makes perfect. And this is how it works. What do you have to do? Well, all you have to do is write a letter to your father inviting him for your school's annual function. Well, you can write this letter and you can even pop it in the comment box. Choose your own format, whichever one you feel free with. Well, well, I think you have quite enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions at all, you know what to do. Just pop them in the comment box and I will get back to you. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, share, press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This is Margaret signing off for today. Bye everyone.